So this could be really bad for Nicola. Yes, Nicola. Now, let me set the scene a little bit. And yes, I know it says right here, Jan Grand Jury indicts Trevor, not Nicola. They're charging Trevor. But, I mean, I'll explain towards the end how, you know, Nicola could possibly be in trouble as well. But anyways, let me set the scene for you. About a year ago, I released a couple videos in which I talked about Nicola as a stock. And the first video was really positive because I was interested in Nikola. It was at a very interesting business model. Uh, they, they were going to start with electric and then move towards hydrogen. Uh, I had a few misgivings. and One, I wanted to see a an actual prototype and I wanted to see more progress on the manufacturing, you know, in mass of, of the trucks. Uh, I want to see more customer interest. You know, I just wanted to, to see a little more for Nikola, but it was otherwise an interesting product. And as we all know, uh, since then, Nikola has shown us the opposite of that. As a matter of fact, I don't think there was a bit of good news that came out of Nikola since my video last year. And I released, I think, two or three more videos after that. Each video was, what to say, less and less appreciative of the company. And I got some hate comments for those videos. And yeah, I mean, it's not turning out well for the company, is it? Now, shortly after, I don't know if it was my first or second video, but I know it was before my third video, but I mean, you already know what this is. Hindenburg released a hit piece on Nikola. Now, if you've been following Nikola or Tesla for any period of time, you know exactly what this hit piece is all about. And yes, it was a hit piece, but it was a very, very effective one. And this came jam packed with evidence and stuff and accusations. Keep in mind, there's still accusations uh, against both Nikola and its uh, founder and, you know, former CEO, uh, Trevor Milton. Now, I'm not going to go over all this again. I think I talked about this in the video last year, or, I mean, you can go look it up, but they made a bunch of evidence-backed claims. And Nikola's re response, like, it was, it was terrible. They pretty much admitted to most of it. And they did not they did it in a way in which it would have been better if they just flat out admitted it. They did some... Like, for example, one of Hindenburg's claims was that uh, one of Nikola's trucks, I don't remember which one it was because I don't really care anymore. Uh, Nikola released, released a video on YouTube called Nikola One in Motion. I think it was the Nikola One, but I could be wrong. And basically, Hindenburg said that that truck was a pusher. In other words, that truck was not being propelled under its own value, value uh, under its uh, own power. And how does Nikola respond? They said that, oh, uh, we never claimed that it wasn't a pusher. You know what I'm saying? We said that video was in motion. We never said the video was so propelled. Like, that's worse though. You do see how that's worse, right, Nikola? And then shortly after that, and Nikola made its quote unquote response, Trevor Milton, I think he went on IG Live or I think it was Instagram Live, and in what he said, yes, I'm gonna fight these these accusations. These are all wrong, and I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna fight it to the end. And then right after that, he resigned as CEO. And then shortly after that, the SEC began its investigation on Nikola. Now, keep in mind that investigation is still going on today. Nikola is still technically under investigation by the SEC. And that brings us to the news of today. Grand jury indicts Trevor Milton, finder of electric car maker Nikola, on three counts of fraud. Federal criminal fraud charges against Trevor Milton accused the Nikola founder of lying about nearly all aspects of the business. The grand jury charged the billionaire who resigned as chairman in September with two counts of security for securities fraud and wire fraud. Nicholas said in an email statement that it has cooperated with the government throughout the course of, it, of its inquiry. Now, that includes the SEC inquiry into Nicola and probably this whole probe into Trevor. Now, I want to say this. I want to get this right off the bat. Now, although I'm pretty much done with Nikola. Like, I stopped caring about Nikola right after that Hindenburg research and after my third video. Like, I stopped caring about Nikola, you know. Now, I know it's doing better now. I think it's doing better right now. I think later this year, it's actually supposed to, you know, actually sell its first uh, semis and get, get those semis in the hands of customers. So, it's actually supposed to be making, posting sales later this year if that actually happens. But um, what I want to say is that Nikola has been distancing, distancing itself, itself, rightly so, from Trevor. And I believe it said, I don't know which earnings call, but a recent one, which, you know, it took responsibility for its actions. 
and it said that you know its problems began and ended with trevor and as far as i know i'm going to go ahead and take that at face value i'm going to choose to believe them for the time being so i think that nicola by itself at least i'm going to choose to believe so i think nicola by itself um be, you know its problems began and ended with trevor and i think i believe it's trying to do the right thing now like this may just be wistful thinking but i do want nicola to turn itself around and eventually become a contender and the renewable you know renewable energy you know vehicle space according to u.s attorney audrey strauss i hope i hope i hope i'm pronouncing that last name correctly this is a very straightforward case Milton tour lies to generate popular demand for nicola's stock beginning beginning at least in or about march 2020 when nicola announced that his stock will become publicly listed Milton became increasingly preoccupied preoccupied with keeping nicola's stock price high that's what she said on a press press briefing thursday today milton did plead non guilty now i want to say right now that he's just been charged we don't know whether he is guilty or not guilty of these charges that remains to be seen in a trial now this right here is the full statement from milton's legal team i'm not going to read all this but blah 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 trevor's milton this is the new low in the government's efforts to criminalize lawful business conduct yeah i know i know but keep in mind i mean we it still needs to go through a trial we don't know if, he, if he's guilty or not I mean, despite what I believe, I am not, you know, I'm not prosecuting this case. I, it's alleged. It's all alleged. And, of course, he pled not guilty, and right now he's out on bond. Now, what I said in the beginning about Nikola being in trouble, I'm, you know, I'm not joking about that. Well, for one, Nikola's, Nikola's stock price has, I mean, very, you know, understandably taken a beating today. And it's been taking a beating for a while. Like, Nikola hasn't had good news in a very, very long time. So what I mean about Nicola being in trouble is that now that Trevor has been charged, that means there's going to be a trial, which means a lot, a lot of entities are going to say a lot of things under oath. Like who's going to be brought in as a as a witness? You know, I, I'm pretty sure Trevor's going to be brought up to, to speak. There's going to be evidence thrown around. A lot of things being said, like I said, under oath. Like what's going to happen? Like is Trevor going to start p pleading the fifth? As it, you know, is or you know or some truth bombs going to come out like all this is re very troubling for Ni for uh nicola yes for nicola and like i said the company is still under investigation by the sec that is still a thing that is going on and you can be damn sure that any information any gems that leak out of this trial will be used in the, inv the, in the investigation like this is very troubling for nicola now like i said we don't know how this is going to turn out like trevor milton could be found not guilty of all counts that is the thing that could happen and nicola could get off scot scot free like this could actually help nicola's case in the long run but i mean in between now and the time when the verdict is, is reached like that this is gonna be a very interesting situation for both trevor and and nicola definitely but anyways take care have a great day and eat your vegetables